Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to understand why PAH clearance is used in the measurement of renal plasma flow. This PAH is called as para amino hippuric acid. What is the characteristics of pH that makes it for the usefulness for the calculation of renal plasma flow? Let's try to understand it. The reason behind it for any substance to be characterized for measuring the renal plasma flow must have this property. That is, the substance must be completely cleared from the plasma. If any substance is completely cleared from the plasma, then the clearance rate will be equal to that of the renal plasma flow. Like whatever amount is delivered to the kidney, it is completely excreted. Amount delivered will be should be equal to that of the amount excreted. PAH is one substance that has this property wherein the amount delivered is equal to the amount excreted. Whenever PAH goes into the kidneys, what happens is it is getting filtered. First thing is it is getting filtered to some amount and the rest of it goes through the blood vessels. After that, what happens is most of the amount of pH is being secreted back into the renal tubules and it is being excreted. So, it comes back and it is being excreted. So, the plasma that is going to the kidneys, the pH levels are almost completely being cleared off from the plasma. So, pH clearance can give the values of renal plasma flow. But the only disadvantage of pH is that only 90 percentage is being cleared from the plasma. So, there has been a correction given to calculate the renal plasma flow which is the PAH clearance divided by 0.9. Why 0.9? Because only 90 percentage is being cleared off from the plasma. So, the correction has been given. I hope it is clear. Thank you for listening. We will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.